on the 15th of April 1532 at Smithfield in London, an execution was carried out which scarred the memory of anyone who witnessed it. This execution was so sadistic and barbaric that it made women sick and turned their stomachs. The crowd saw a man dunked in and out of a boiling pot. This man was Richard Roos, who had been condemned to death by King Henry VIII for his involvement in a poisoning plot against Bishop John Fisher. Many with this have actually pointed the finger at the king and his wife Anne Boleyn, as Fisher was a key enemy of the pair, but this execution was something that the king had had to change the laws of his land to allow, but he was not the only one executed by being boiled alive by Henry VIII, and shockingly a woman also met the same fate. But what is the story of the woman boiled alive by the most notorious Tudor king of all? When Richard Roos was condemned to death, the king actually changed the laws and rules of his kingdom to allow someone who was suspected of poisoning to be executed by boiling alive. It was said by Henry VIII himself in a speech that his highness, considering the man's life above all things, is chiefly to be favoured and voluntary murders most highly to be detested and abhorred and specially all kinds of murders poisoning, which in this realm hereat to the Lord be thanked hath been most rate and seldom committed or practised. He then pushed through a new law, allowing the sentence for poisoning to be boiling alive. This specific law claimed that the said poisoning be adjudged high treason, and that the said Richard Roos, for the said murder and poisoning of the said two persons, shall stand and be attained of high treason, and shall be therefore boiled to death without benefit of clergy, and that in future murder by poisoning shall be adjudged high treason, and the offender deprived of his clergy be boiled to death. When Richard Roos's case was one which was symbolic, with him being lowered into a boiling pot representing his act of introducing poison to food, or whether Richard Roos was mocked as he was a cook, it is not known, but his execution was harrowing and he was boiled in a broth at Smithfield inside of a cauldron and he was lowered in its believed three times before he was killed. It was stated by witnesses that... He roared mighty loud, and divers women who were big with child did feel sick at the sight of what they saw, and were carried away half dead. And other men and women did not seem frightened by the boiling alive, but would prefer to see the headsman at his work. But he was not the only victim of Henry VIII to be boiled alive, and there was actually a woman who was subjected to this execution method. In the year 1542, a woman named Margaret Davy was accused of the crime of poisoning for her employer. It was claimed that to kill a man by poison is the most detestable of all because it is most horrible and fearful to the nature of man and of all others can be least prevented either by manhood or providence. This offence was so odious that by act of parliament it was made high treason and it inflicted a more grievous and lingering death than the common law prescribed. That the offender shall be boiled to death in hot water, upon which statute Margaret Davy, a young woman, was attained of high treason for poisoning her mistress and some others, was boiled to death in Smithfield the 17th of March in the same year. With this, it tells us that the last documented execution by boiling alive was of this woman, Margaret Davy. She was, as mentioned, accused of poisoning a woman who employed her and others, and with this was tried. Henry VIII was himself terrified of poisoning, and he even employed a taste tester to try his food. Margaret Davy was a maidservant who was accused of poisoning three people in the house where she lived. She was, on the day of her execution, taken to Smithfield, the same place where Richard Roos had been executed years before and was then boiled alive in a huge pot in front of a crowd. There were only a few accounts of this execution method being carried out, and later during the reign of Edward VI, 
The law was then repealed and no one was ever boiled inside of a cauldron again at Smithfields for their actions. Margaret Davies' story is one which is not the most known about, but we know that she was found guilty of poisoning three people and for this she paid the ultimate price by being boiled alive in front of a crowd in London in one of the most harrowing and barbaric ways possible. Thank you for watching. And to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.